Hey, you filthy legends. Hope you're having a wicked day. I figured, I figured, um, I'd make a quick kind of like update video on how things are going with Filthy Shades. It's been a minute since I've made a YouTube video and I thought it'd be good to upload this and keep this consistent. My goal is once I'm able to get to the point where I can rock Filthy Shades full time um, and have more time and energy for editing and stuff is that I start promoting and posting more on YouTube, making more behind the scenes content um, for you guys if you want to follow along with the growth of Filthy Shades. And so I figured I would make a quick update on how things are going, where we're at, um, things to come, and what's the plan for the new year. So um, new year, this new year. I don't know where New Year came from, but I'm going to roll with it. Um, so we had an exciting month. Last month, it was the best um, month we have had with Filthy Shades. Sold more glasses than ever before. Um, had the biggest amount of growth on Instagram. We had like 2,000 new followers come in over the span of a month, which was like insane. Um, it was so exciting. I think we've doubled our Instagram following um, since the beginning of 2021 from like just 4,900, I think, something like that, to uh, 8,500, uh, which is really, really cool. And the my kind of one of my goals, I think I might have said this in one of our old videos, is the goal for, for 2021 is for Filthy Shades to have 10,000 Filthy Legends on the Instagram page. And so we are so close to that. I think I'll be able to do that in the next couple months, which is really exciting. Um, and I'm really looking forward to kind of reaching that goal. Um, and just continuing to grow bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, and this compounding effect starts to happen when we have, now we have 8,000 family members on the Filthy Shades group. And so those people are gonna share and it's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger. So I'm really excited about that. Um, this last month, we're currently in uh, May, the start of May. Um, I released the Slickers on May 1st, uh, just to document kind of the things, these are dirty, um, where things are at and how things are going. Um, so the Filthy Slickers were just released, which I'm really excited about. So mirrored lenses as well as the black lenses. Um, and these have done really well. People are really liking them. The goal with the Slickers is basically to hit more people. Um, target audience kind of grows a little bit when you have glasses that everybody wants to wear. Um, I love our other styles. I think they're boss. Um, but some people don't like to wear them. And so I'm finding with the slickers. Um, I've had a lot more people come out of the woodwork who normally wouldn't wear my glasses, but love what I'm doing and the messaging behind everything and love uh, the slickers and, and to want to wear them. So that makes me excited. A lot of people's wives are buying them. A lot of people's girlfriends are buying them. A lot of dudes are buying them. Everybody's buying them. Um, so I'm really excited. And I've been wearing these like every day. They're just kind of like a really great everyday pair. Um, so slickers were launched May 1st and I have another release coming um, out for our glasses the middle of May. So we'll be releasing three new colors as well as restocking everything, which is going to be really cool. It's actually the biggest amount of glasses I've ever ordered um, into the thousands, which is just crazy. Um, so nerve wracking, kind of freaking me out, but um, exciting nonetheless. Uh, this, this month has been a really huge learning experience for me because I've been stretched in every way possible. I'm still working a full-time job and so having filthy shades taking off it's having to take more of my energy so early mornings late nights weekends and it's just been amazing and i've been loving every single minute of it uh but like this month was the most amount of revenue come in and then also the most amount of expenses which is terrifying and then not only are they like i, I make a month a certain amount of money in the month and i have to pay for last month's costs of marketing and glasses and maintenance of everything and on top of that, I also have to invest in for next month and the month after that. So every month is extremely tight and it's been awesome, um, but terrifying at the same time. For those of you guys who have had any business experience in this kind of a setting, it is like super nerve wracking going in month to month, wondering like, is it, am I going to have enough sales to be able to cover the cost of this? The investment of buying all these glasses, like, am I going to have enough to to be able to pay for them and then sell them so that I'm making money. Like it's, there's a lot of risk, um, but it's something that I've been really enjoying and growing from. So it's been a really fun journey. Um, so I'm ecstatic for releasing the biggest launch we've had, as well as moving into the summer with a bunch of new designs that I want to do. And uh, this month will be the first month we work with professional photographer. Um, I am working with um, some more marketing specialists now, so that will be grow the business even more, um, bringing on some marketing guys to help um, kind of scale from what I've done already in the last year and a half, moving forward. 
Um, so yeah, it's gonna be really cool. I'm really excited. Um, so that is my quick update. I'm hoping to continue these moving forward and I have time to edit them. But in the meantime, they're gonna be raw and cut. Um, I was just doing some TikTok videos on my floor. I set up this uh, backdrop, kind of like half on the floor, half in the bookshelf, and then I've been creating content. Um, and the frequently asked questions video, if you look at my Instagram, me laying on the floor pretending I'm on a bottom bunk of a bunk bed, that was done right here. And I figured I'd just sit up and make this video. So yeah, thanks guys for tuning in. I appreciate it. If you're wanting to follow the kind of Filthy Shades, filthyshades.com, and what's happening in the future with launches and the business, this is the platform where I'm going to be creating to do that. I'm also going to talk about more business stuff um, and branding because that's something I'm passionate about. So thanks guys for tuning in. You have what it takes. I appreciate you guys. Stay strong, stay filthy, and I'll catch you in the next video.